Oh my gosh, I should have known passion fruit is my favorite. Can you retake it and pretend that I know? <laughs> I'm Deanna, I'm a food writer and editor for Stephloy.com. Hi, my name is Anne and I'm an intern at Hype and Stuff. Hi, I'm Jimmy Teo, I'm the chef and co-founder of Meat for Meat. So I think today we're going to try some snow skin mooncakes. Uh, I'm going to try and identify some of the flavours. I think this year I've already tried about 10 different brands of mooncakes, so hopefully I can get at least half of them correct. I've been in the line for about 20 odd years now. I haven't had much experience in snow skin, making them or cooking them, but I've had some in eating them. <laughs> and uh, the most interesting one that I've tried is uh, probably the uh, durian flavoured ones. I'm hoping to try some other flavours today. Basically, my job is to make everyone look good because I'm basically the amateur here. Gosh, wait, wait, wait. It's very flavor. <laughs> it's not very strong. Mainly I just taste like the skin, but it's a very generic like rice flour flavor. Hello! I don't know eh. <laughs> wow, stress leh. There's like something in the center, is it? This is just like red bean paste. This is just like red bean. Okay, why does it smell like durian but it doesn't taste like durian? Okay, I'm guessing the snow skin is durian. And the inside is... Can I do a pass on this? Or must I give a flavour? Okay, I'm just gonna anyhow guess. I'm gonna say the inside is corn. Because <laughs> it tastes like corn. <laughs> Which is so gross because durian and corn is not good. Mm. Something sweet, something sweet. Coconut. Is it? Can't seem to get the second one. Is it a fruit? Is it rambutan? <laughs> I don't know. Okay, what is it? Sorry. Oh my god. See? I'm making everyone look good. Round two. Thank you. Mm. Oh wow, this one is very very different. Oh my god. Oh, I know, I know, I know. There's some like yuzu inside. Mm, like something else? Mmm. A bit sweet. Mmm. Chocolate? Yuzu and chocolate? Why is it sour? Okay, chocolate with lemon. That's what I'm getting. It's definitely chocolate. And. Do I get a point that's considered a citrus? And I said sour. Oh, I can't, can't taste. Oh, lime? Is this lime or lemon? Round three. <coughs> At this point, I'm quite sick of mooncakes already. Right? There's like bits of the fruit inside, or like whatever, like like bits of like crunchier stuff inside. Oh, wait, actually, it's not good. I don't think it's peach. Oh my god, okay. Um, I don't know, pineapple and something. I don't know what's the other thing. Oh, I like this one. Okay, I'm gonna say yuzu and coconut. No! Okay, can I get another guess? Passion fruit. <gasps> fruit and what? Mango. Oh my gosh, I should have known passion fruit is my favorite. Can you retake it and pretend that I know? <laughs> I'm just gonna go with guava and. Would go, go nice with guava and lychee. <laughs> no, passion fruit maybe. And yeah, now that you say, now that you mention it, damn it. Round four. Oh my god. Okay, I, 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 wait, wait. Yeah, I think I know. <laughs> Only one fruit. Oh. Yes. I mean, this is definitely durian. I'm hard up as I'm sure. 
Okay. It's durian, obviously. Oh, it's so soft. <laughs> it's really weirdly soft. Um, yes. Like if this is not durian, then something is wrong with me. Cause this, this is durian. <laughs> <laughs> no, it is durian, I'm telling you. <laughs> Actually, I'm not so sure now. What could it be? Ah, it's definitely durian, man. Yes. Give me another durian one, then I can get three points. Final round, fight! Slightly crunchy, chewy sensor. I think like the middle is coconut. Coconut and maybe like pandan. It is kaya and coconut. I think. Yeah, kaya and coconut. Oh no, what is it? Is this gula melaka? Yes, all the gula melaka. Yes. Hmm. Pandan? Yes, definitely. Definitely harder, but so much more fun. <laughs> it was a good experience and I um, should do, do this more often at home. I should uh, cut off one sense and then try to taste more food. Yeah, it's a fun game. <laughs> should try it. I think I did quite okay. <laughs> I really expected to like maybe get like two. I feel like sometimes my first thought was the correct flavour. But then like, I start to like second guess a lot because I'm like, Oh, what if it's not the correct one? Because like, it tastes sort of similar to something else. Maybe should have gone with my instinct. It's definitely a bit harder to decide like what flavor it is when I'm like when I can't see what the mooncake looks like. The only one that I was like 100% sure was the durian. Oh, are you serious? I can't even show my face anymore. <laughs> now I feel like my taste buds just don't work. I expected to get zero to be honest, but it's okay. I'm here to make everyone look good. It's okay. For those that don't know about Meat for Meat, we serve restaurants quality food at uh, affordable prices. So if you haven't tried us, come down and try us. And we've actually done a video about the shop and about who we are and what we are. So have a look. Go through sethblue.com and you can find me. <laughs>